Hey, what's up guys? Matt here coming to you from Laidlaw's Harley-Davidson. So today we're talking about the fourth installment in Harley-Davidson's Icons collection. Now the Icons collection was first introduced with the Electroglide Revival. It's basically Harley-Davidson's way of celebrating motorcycles in Harley-Davidson's history that were significant bikes that really were like represented a big change in Harley-Davidson's equipment or fairing or in this case front end. So here we have the Hydroglide Revival and so this was modeled after the 1949 Hydroglide, which was the first year of the Hydroglide. The thing that's significant about the 1949 Hydroglide was this is the first year they went to a hydraulic front end with a telescopic fork, replacing the spring front end. A lot of the style points on this bike aren't necessarily from 1949, but a lot of them are from like the early 50s of the Hydroglide before they went over to the Duo Glide. So things like the birch white and red line red paint, this is an era specific uh, paint scheme that was taken from the early 50s. And the medallion on here is a very popular medallion, especially with the guys that are into the vintage and classic Harley Davidsons. This is a highly sought after medallion. The speedometer as well was taken from an early 50s Hydroglide. So they've kind of pieced together the most popular style points and medallions and dashes from the early years of the Hydroglide into one bike that just really celebrates this time in, in Harley Davidson's history. As with any Icon motorcycle, they're all numbered. These are serialized bikes. So there's 1,750 of these made. Some of the Icon's bikes in previous years, there's only 1,500 of them made. So they did make a few more this year. So most dealerships will probably only get one or two of these motorcycles, but other style points on this motorcycle as well, like you have what looks like an old drum brake, you know, back in the late 40s, early 50s, these motorcycles had drum brakes, they didn't have disc brakes. You know, things like the two-tone windshield, that's a style point that was taken from that era as well. So two other real big items, so you got the saddle, that is stylized, the leather, the detailing, the fringe and everything on the seat and also on the saddlebags is all very era specific. So things like the fringe, uh, the medallions and the saddlebags and everything, uh, a lot of those are again, the style is taken directly from that early 50s, late 40s era. So we're out here right now with Jerry Laidlaw. He's never heard about the Hydroglide Revival, the Icon bike that just came out. And so we're gonna give him kind of a pop quiz to find out exactly what kind of a Harley guy he is. And just kind of just going off just his raw knowledge, no preparation at all. All right, the new Hydroglide Revival. When did the Hydroglide first come out? Uh, 1948 was the very first Hand head, but it had a Springer front end. 1949 was the first telescopic hydraulically dampened front forks, and that was 1949, obviously. They weren't polished, they were black. I actually bought an original 1949 from the original owner when I was going to college back in the late 70s. Later on, they changed the Hydroglide designation that's on the front fender to a Duo Glide, and that was 1958 when they had rear shocks or rear suspension with a swing arm. So 
So hydroglide, dual glide, that was basically uh, two big changes in the early 50s, late 50s. Nice, I'm impressed. Hydroglide Revival is built on basically the Softail Heritage Classic platform. So mechanically, and the way it performs and the equipment and everything is pretty much identical to the Softail Heritage. So if you're really interested in how the bike performs, you know, the equipment you have on the bike, things like cruise control, the suspension, everything like that, then you can check out one of our Softail Heritage reviews and really get the details on exactly what you can expect in, in terms of performance, and if this is gonna meet the, your riding criteria and the type of riding that you do, if this bike's gonna suit it, you're gonna get a lot of that information if you check out our heritage videos. Basically with the Icons, Harley-Davidson takes an already factory production bike, stylizes it, puts their twist on it, pays homage to a lot of the cool character that these bikes had. So you can get a modern motorcycle, you can really get the spirit of what was delivered in the late 40s with basically modern conveniences and modern mechanics of a current model year motorcycle. So, like I said, this is the fourth icon in their lineup. It's really cool that Harley-Davidson does have such a cool past and they celebrate it in such a rad way. You know, there's certain groups of people that still love the old Harley-Davidson's more than the new stuff. And so this is a good way to speak to that community and still have a bike that you're not constantly having to be a part-time mechanic to ride but you can still celebrate you know, the classic nature and Harley Davidson's history as it's woven into American history as well. So let's talk price point for a second. You're looking at an MSRP of $24,999 on the Hydroglide Revival, which is $2,500 more than just your regular Heritage and Chrome. Personally, I think that's reasonable. I think someone would be hard pressed to say that Harley Davidson is gouging for things that are just purely cosmetic or a play on exclusivity. It does have both of those in a big way. So basically you're getting everything from the unique saddle styling, the saddlebag styling, the different dash, the windshield, the different fender badging, the pan style air cleaner cover. But like I mentioned before, pretty much everything mechanically, like the engine, you're looking at a 114 motor, you know, all that stuff is the same as the heritage. So the ride comfort, the things like the electric electronics, cruise control, the performance out on the freeway with the windshield, that's all going to be very much the same as the Heritage. You have the taller of the two shocks in the Softail family, so a little bit better ride comfort out on the road. And I think overall guys, people shouldn't underestimate how comfortable the Softail Heritage is. When you take everything into consideration, this is just a good mid-sized touring bike. You got a decent amount of storage, you've got a decent amount of highway comfort, you've got a decent amount of wind protection with the windshield, and you have the versatility of being able to take it on and off. For those of you that watch my channel often, you know that I'm a big advocate for if you're an all-in, no-holds-barred touring guy, I always recommend a touring chassis motorcycle. But if for whatever reason you want to stick to the mid-size cruiser, maybe you want the lighter overall weight of the Softail, maybe you're smaller in stature and you feel more comfortable on a Softail, whatever it may be, this is a really good alternative to a touring bike and if you're looking at doing touring type riding. Bro, that seat is comfy. Is it? Like the ergonomics on it is just like, your legs are longer than mine, but dude, I could sit on that bike forever. Everybody's always asking if the Lowrider ST is like comfortable enough for touring. Like, bro, this is the sleeper. <laughs> How about the Hydroglide, huh? Yeah, that seat is, that seat is gnarly, dude. I love this thing. I'm not short either. I'm, I'm 6'1 with boots on and dang, I like that. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that, but hey. Yeah, yeah. you guys you guys need to test ride Heritage's more because stop sleeping on the Heritage, you know? <laughs> I like it. 
I know Harley Davidson too is kind of co-marketing this bike with a feature length film that's coming out, the Bike Riders, I believe it's coming out in June, which follows an outlaw biker gang in the Detroit area. And this is kind of the time period of that film takes place. So it'll be cool to check out that film. I know they had some of the actual factory guys on set at that movie, making sure that everything was period correct and that the look and the style of everything was in line with that era in Harley Davidson's history. So it should be cool to check that out as well. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody. If you're looking for a new or used Harley Davidson in Southern California, make sure you check us out here at Laidlaw's Harley Davidson, where we have absolutely no extra fees, no added dealer markup, no prep. We'll see you guys in the next one later.